Welcome back, my horrific atrocities, to the new content update, version 3.0 for Bloom Tower Defense 6. Obviously, we're freaking excited. The two main things are the new hero and the new advanced map. On top of that, we get new advanced challenges and uh, a lot of different weirder kind of bug fixes and changes that are happening in the game. So if you want, to, basically what, the, what I'm going to do in this video, I'm just going to talk about all the changes that are happening. Uh, we're going to go over all of the main changes that we're going to see, like the new hero and the map, and kind of how they work. And then we're going to go over into the more uh, in-depth area of, of how everything is actually going to change together as a whole. And whether we like them or not, you know, I mean, we might wait, hate some of these changes. They might be crappy, but that's very unlikely. So, uh... This is what we got. We got the new hero, Benjamin. He's the hacker monkey that I alluded to in my previous video over here. A wickedly powerful and fantastically attractive code monkey. The new advanced map, High Finance. Build to win on this advanced map that will leave you broke if you... Oh, oh my god, they're already hacking things over here if you're not careful. Um, the advanced challenge and new standard challenge features. Awesome. So we got new, some new challenges coming up in here. There's not just one challenge. Now there's two. Tough, puzzling, creative advanced challenges not for the faint of hearted. The Friday Stinger advanced challenges for our most dedicated and most creative players. Be the first to win these and share your strats. See the links below. Um, I think we're... I don't know what they mean by the links below, but... Maybe we're going to go to the forums, possibly, to, to, to throw our strats out. Additional standard daily challenge options per tower camps and total monkey caps. So basically, we're just getting a lot of challenge changes, which I actually really, really enjoy. I still feel like they need to create um, names for the challenges. You know, I don't like just seeing cracked hard, cracked medium. Like, do some fun challenges, man. Like, glue explosion or something like that. Like, only glues. Like, make it cool. Make them fun. I think you can't run out of ideas for challenges. There's infinite. There's so many you can go for. And they don't all have to be uh, amazing, but I feel like you should at least name them. I don't know, maybe it's just because they used to have names in the past, and now they don't, and I feel like they're just, uh, they're not as shiny and cool as they used to be, because they don't have names. Am I the only one? Uh, maybe I am. And then there can only be one, Smiley Face. Don't know what that is yet, but we'll have to figure it out eventually. And then billions and billions and billions of bellage changes and fixes. Check our social uh, channels for the full list. So this is what I'm talking about right here, guys. Um, the, the full balance changes that I'm basically going to be reading for you guys are going to be over on Reddit over here. So I'm going to go there uh, after I show you guys the new hero and the new map. So let's go check out the new, uh, the new stuff. First of all, we've got Benjamin over here. So here's our heroes. This is Benjamin. This is the sixth tower, sixth hero already. Um, I don't know what the amount of heroes they're planning on putting in here, but if you look at the little circles at the bottom, I don't know if we can fit more than like two or three more without things just getting a little crazy up in here. So I don't know, man. I think we're starting to get to sort of the the max out of heroes already. But basically, Benjamin's a code monkey. He's got the biohack ability and the siphon funding ability, and then he um, basically. Does, he basically so he's a support tower. He's not much of a damage doer. So I'm going to read out some of his uh, quick abilities right here, just to show you guys kind of what he's all about. And I'm not going to show you him in the game yet because I want to I want to do that in like a, a real video where I'm actually playing the game. But he he hacks hundred dollars into every round at level one. So he's making hundred bucks every round. He pays for himself as fast as a banana farm as a zero or a, as soon as you put him down zero zero hero or whatever the heck you want to call him level zero hero. Um. Then he generates 150 by level two. He's he's hacking things by uh, level three, and this is this is the cool part, man. Biohack. Four closest monkeys pop an extra layer per attack for six seconds. So basically, we're doing damage. All right. I don't know why they always mix up the wordage here with extra layer and damage and piercing and whatever, but uh, it means we pop a blue balloon down to nothing in one shot with a dart monkey. That's what that layer means. Kind of like a sniper popping three layers instead of two. Affected monkeys can't attack for two seconds after the effect ends. That's actually really interesting as well. It actually makes them bad after they're done. Uh-oh. Um, is that going to be worth it? We'll have to see. Um, now, ooh, this is really interesting too. Skimming earns plus one dollar for every new balloon spawned. I mean, that can lead to a lot of freaking money right there, man. I mean, lots of money. Um, banks are going to earn extra money. Uh, we start making lives at level 6 already. That's pretty freaking sweet, dude. Um, now we can start herding uh, uh, balloons. And this is where we saw the Moab pop down into nothingness um, with the Trojans. This could be like our Moab popping power hero right here. If we're struggling against the Moab, maybe we just get this guy. If we can get him up to level s uh, 7 by the time that uh, uh, the Moab comes out... Insta kill done like no problems right there don't have to deal with the ceramics and the balloon children inside 250 bucks already bank hacked is getting better siphon funnies this is our next ability downgrades 
Mostly new spawn balloons by one rank, and then the cash per pop from effective balloons is doubled the last 10 seconds. So it also might affect how much money we make in total, because we're making a Moab go down to a ceramic. Um, we're losing out on those three ceramics of money. That's an extra, like, 300 bucks or so. So we have to use this properly. When do we actually want to use it and everything? But it also does make um, the cash per pop from affected balloons doubled. All right, so I don't know. It's it's a little bit weird. It's a weird one. Uh, you know, I think overall it's probably going to be effective for us, but we'll have to ch you know go in and check it out. Three hundred dollars per round. Two dollars per skimmer. Biohack effect six monkeys. Cybersecurity adds ten lives per round. Holy crap! We're making more money, more lives, more everything. And then for level twenty-seven funding, last twenty seconds of cash per pop is triple the normal for effective loot. So all about that money right there for this hero. Now what about this new map that they're talking about here? High finance. What? High finance. I mean, you got, I'm going into money here, too. So we're going to play in... I guess we're just playing on standard here because I don't have sandbox unlocked. But um, basically, what you're going to notice is that I've got a dart monkey here. Like, okay, let me just put this guy down on top of the building. Or where do we... What the heck? You can't... Oh, my God! There's nowhere to put him! What do we do? Oh, well, there's grass in the middle. I guess we could put him on the grass. Yeah, I guess so. Holy crap. So that's really the only spot in the entire map that we can put towers down? I think so. Unless I'm missing something that's um, uh, that I don't know about or I don't understand yet, like maybe a little little weasel down in here. I don't think so. I don't think you can put it anywhere. Even like spots like this where like it should be able to put a catapult or, or a dart monkey or something to juggernaut through there, it doesn't work. So what we're relying on is mostly, believe it or not, water towers. You're going to have to use buccaneers and subs and dart monkeys like a freaking boss over here if you want to defend. Um, on top of that, uh, let's actually show show the rounds. I'm actually going to delete these guys so you guys can see how the rounds are going to work. They basically go in a gigantic 5 or an S uh, shape for the first level. You're going to see they come from the top right. They hook back over like a U over to the right side again, and then they hook back over to the left side again like a giant S. But for round 2, they change. They're just going to go... Uh, down and up once. So what we're going to notice is that the even rounds are going to suck more than the odd rounds overall. Because we're going to have to deal with uh, all the even rounds just hooking around once, where all those odd rounds, if we've got room to work with, might be a little bit better. Now you might be thinking, oh crap, all we need to do is get some snipers or something like that. Like snipers got a lot. You got a lot of room to work with over here. Oh crap, all the construction equipment's in the freaking way. Are you kidding me right now? So yeah, they're they're being pretty big jerks about this, guys. They they did not make this level easy at all. I mean, there's there's things to do, there's places to work with, but it's not going to be an exciting time for us at all. We're going to really have to use our towers effectively in here. I'm thinking ninja alchemist combo for sure is going to be one of the main towers for us, and then maybe also a buccaneer alchemist, and maybe finish it off with some sort of super monkey. And that's going to be the way that we're going to have to play this level, I believe. Um, but that's all I'm going to have for this part of the video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys over to Reddit. So luckily, Ninja Kiwi is very, very nice to us, and they love to uh, share the information with the world. So they're sharing um, all the patch notes for version 3.0 on here. They don't want to put them all on Bloomstart Event 6 because they can get kind of overflowed with randomness. So I'm just going to try and do my... Oh, I never even talked about the advanced challenges either, but... Uh... Basically, if you click on the daily challenge now, you can see the daily challenge and the advanced challenge. There's two different challenges you can go and play. Um, they're basically just events, and I think on Friday they might have another third possible challenge, or the advanced challenge will turn into the stinger challenge. I'm not sure. But we'll have to wait and see for that. But um, for today, I'm just going to kind of read off uh, most of the challenges, and kind of t or the, the, the changes, and kind of talk about them a little bit. So, uh, obviously you guys know about the hero, the advanced map, and the new challenges now. And then I still don't know what there can only be one means yet, but it, there's a smiley face under here, so I, I, I don't know if there's going to be some sort of ridiculous challenge where they're going to like make it so only one person can freaking win it or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be it's gonna be fun, though. I can tell you that much. This is what I want to talk about for the most part, though. The general balance changes. So I'm just going to be reading most of them and talking about them. If I slow down, I will mess up my, my, my talking less, but if I read them fast, I, I sound cooler and smarter, so I'll try and uh, do my best here. Each sub-mode, this is like Apocalypse and Easy and Hard and Medium and blah blah blah, will now display the correct medals and the monkey money rewards for earning them. So this is where I was telling you guys about how it, when you when we were playing on Easy there, it showed us how much money we were going to make if we beat it. Starting on 101, we display the Insta Monkey reward. I didn't even know we get an Insta Monkey reward for round 101, but that's awesome. Daily Challenge date format has been changed to follow a different region, so I think what this means is that now if I play the Daily Challenge, it should it should tell me the actual date 
um, that I'm playing this on, I believe. You know, at 8, 2018, 823, that makes sense. So I think it's, it's working, so far for me at least. Um, running out of lives will no longer stop your towers from attacking. So this is actually kind of cool, but I tried it out already and I didn't really like it that much. Um, daily challenges will now uh, specify continue previous when your daily challenge save is from a previous challenge. Oh, so it looks like you can continue your, your the daily challenge from yesterday if you really want to. Uh, I guess, if you want to. Have fun. Apopolis will no longer remove Spike Factory Spike Piles at the end of each round. Wonderful. I love that. I felt the Spike Factory was worthless in Apopolis before. If a removable object costs more than you can afford, the, the tick box will not be grayed out. So now, we're not going to be accidentally trying to buy this thing when we think we have the money, and we don't. Though, I don't think that happens all that often. Banana Farmers! Woo! We'll record how much money and how much cash they have collected. Totals! Yes! I love it. Alright, Poplust updated to better explain the upgrade. Cool. I like it. I didn't actually read it. Let's go read it right now, I guess. Um, let's go in a sandbox really quick and let's read this bad boy. Alright. So I am building the druid right now. And, uh, boop, 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 boop. All right, to so the Avatar of Wrath. The Avatar of Wrath, uh, when it, the first thing it says is the more balloons there are, the more damage it does. Oh, okay. Now, yeah, that's all it says. That's not that accurate. Better explain the upgrade. Okay. Oh, Pop Lust. Oh, gosh. Right? The zero, yeah, okay. I don't really under, whatever. Because it's weird because the, I think they might have gotten that wrong. It's not the it's not Poplust for the XX5 Druid. It's that's the Avatar of Wrath. Poplust is 004 upgrade. I don't know what they're talking about here. Sniper Monkey! The Elite Sniper will now automatically change itself to the Elite Targeting when upgraded. Awesome. Monkey Buccaneer, um, the takedown ability will now give us the cash display when it uh, when it hooks a Moab. Hopefully the fifth tier as well. I would assume that that would happen. Um, because it gives you uh, it gives you more money for exploding MOABs and BFBs for the 5th tier, so I kind of hope that they continue that with, uh, you know, with that as well. Um, I could test it out, but I'm not going to test it out right now. Airburst starts now receive full benefits from all external sources, including the XX5 Subcommander and the Top Path Alchemist buff. Wonderful. Um, Alchemist, the uh, Permanent Brew effect will now save on all applied towers between games, so I think what happened if you saved at some point, uh, it didn't end up giving you the Alchemist buff when you came back. So, uh, that's pretty important, actually, especially if you're going for some sort of late-game walkthrough or late-game play or something like that. It's just not going to work. Um, Rubber to Gold! Ooh! So this might actually be more of a, an effective upgrade right now. All Moab class balloons below the bad can be Rubber to Golded. So we're talking about three times more money for even Moabs, BFBs, and Zombies. Like, why wouldn't you do that? I, I don't know, man. It might be too powerful now. We're going to have to look into that. Spike Factory Projectiles can now... Well, oh, I love this. They'll fade away. As their lifespan ends, instead of blinking out of existence. I love it. That just sounds awesome, man. Alright, Striker Jones can shell will no longer target bad, says the strongest, since they can't stun them. Perfect. Mute hero option available. I actually did not see that. What do we got here? Let's go back home really quick and see what we're doing. But anyways, I'm not going to talk about the general bug fixes, because I really don't care about them all that much. Basically, they're bugs that we don't care about. We just don't want them in the game. If they, something goes wrong, we don't like it. Um, tower item and bug fixes, same thing with all of this. Um, you know, we, we don't really care about the powers all that much. Just we want to know that they're working properly. Monkey knowledge, same thing. There was a lot of weird monkey knowledge things going on. Hopefully, they're all fixed by now. Uh, and then basically, they just go over all the extra... Things for the dart monkey, the boomerang, the ice, the glue, the moa, the, the, the monkey sub, the monkey buccaneer, heli, wizard, super, ninja, alchemist, druid, banana farm, spike factor, monkey village, Gwendolyn, and striker jones all the way through here. Talking about all the different things that they're changing to make sure that they're working actually properly. I'm not going to go through all of them, but just know that now everything should be working better. Um, everything should be working properly. There's no, uh, there's no money changes involved in all of this, I don't believe. Uh... So, um, that, I believe, is pretty much it. They're going to show us this little hacker monkey thing of a bob down here uh, to show off the, uh, the, new, the new hero, uh, Benjamin. And that's all I've got for you guys today. So, if you enjoyed this video, you guys seem to enjoy these videos whenever I go over the patch notes and all the things that are changing in the game, make sure you press the like button for me, I'd really, really appreciate that. If you didn't like the video, let me know why. If you don't like this at all, you think it's garbage, you'd rather watch gameplay, that's cool too, just let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear about that. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.